tumors, you go through all. I'll be okay. So don't be nobody in for a while. Ah, uh, funny thing, mister. I'd rather be here with you. No, I'll be back in a row for you. Oh, that's lovely. I wish it was always like this. Sit down there, now, lady, and we'll train ourselves to a drink. Oh, you stay there. I'll get it. What will it be? The sky's I have a brand. Are all the safe upstairs, lady? All sound. Oh, it's a small brand, it could be. Oh, God, I haven't sat down since morning. <laughs> it's like a holiday, having a stretch. Baby, I wonder why it'd be to have a job that ends at six, with Saturdays and Sundays <coughs> free. And imagine me holidays. Sure, me on holidays, they would not watch it. Oh, yeah, it is. Oh, would you like a cigarette? I'm wrong here by the register. You're a great lady. Long life, lady. Say a few words. Thank you. <coughs> you feel it? Feel what? Fear. I'm getting afraid, man. I'll pull the doors and shut down the shutters. Let nobody in for a while. Let's never open that out door again. I know what you mean, man. He should be back shortly. You will do just nicely. Well, I'll for that, I'll take my father. We'll never see if he has had the most. I will. Sit down there, man. And I won't be a minute. Come on, man. Come on. Sit down there, man. That's right. Be a fire, isn't it? You're the oldest fire, isn't it? Yes, sir. Ah, uh, all me, Andy, man. The oldest fire, please. Isn't that not going to be best to a fire, isn't it? What's your name? Lady. Mary. 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 Dandy. <laughs> what about your grandfather? Mary. Dandy. Uh, yes, and Mary was who found an extra. I put Mary's face. What did you do? Three shillings. <coughs> oh, a horse and a gun is three shillings. Well, there's a 
hammered it never drove it. Ladies and gentlemen, I have here for sale one fine farmer's wife, 15 hands high and sound in the wind and limb, and steady as a butcher's table. Do I hear a bid? Do I hear a bid for this fine specimen of <coughs> You, sir, you look at this and start the man. Do I hear a bid? She had two medals for mega cost. And that's made a kind of thing. I shall call the brigand ceremony and it's a certificate for snoring. <laughs> ah, you come then. The blood is thicker than water. How's the bull? How's the tide? Four. No, you were safe, Danny. Ah, thanks, Danny. Danny, you were aware that there's a man in this village who shared around me. Ah, yes, Bull. Sit down there, will you? All of you, sit down. First, sir, Mammy. Right behind you, Bull. Sorry, I'm late. Oh, good man, it never let me. <coughs> What's he doing up here? Shouldn't he be in his bed? Oh, he's just going. No, no, wait. Come back. You wait, he knows enough, he knows enough. Sit down up there, make a good bite. <laughs> now then, I'm a fair man. And I want no what I want not to only watch mine. I won't be robbed in my own village, in my own country, by an imported land robber. The sweat I use on won't be given for nothing. A total stranger has come. And he wants to bury my sweat and blood in concrete. It is again the law of God and again, man. And I would never want to hold the head when it came to trouble. And no one is going to do me out of my natural barn rights. Now, this robber comes from nowhere. And he's nothing less than a robber. And we all know the price that the cure for a robber. He must be given a price. And the pride he is going to get. But people forget friends when there's trouble. And if this man gets a bit of a bait, we'll have the civic guard coming around asking their questions. And we all know what the civic guard is. But people forget our friends when there's trouble. What's friends for if it isn't to pull one another out of the house? And what's neighbours and relations for? But isn't to love you one another, says the Holy Gospel. And when the police come around here and their long nose is asking their questions, <coughs> you will all remember that Tyg and I were in this pub at the time Dan Robin Gazebo got his Jews. We didn't give him just enough to teach him a lesson. And now, I want to promise, won't I? Just to show that we can trust one another. Dandy, you're there on the Holy Ghost, won't you? Sure, old, sure. And don't worry about the missus. So, man, Dandy, I knew I would come, didn't you? Bird, what about you? I will pull, but I won't swear on the Holy Ghost. And what have you got against the Holy Ghost, you little cat, are you? It is wrong, it is wrong, it is wrong. Did he ever give you a break? A break? Yes. And the other ghost that frightened the living daylights out of you. <laughs> but did the Holy Ghost give everybody, ever give anybody a break? Come on, swear you, little Capri. Yeah, I'll make for that. What about you, Mick? Uh, okay, but, but don't overdo it now. Oh, just enough to give him a, to, to give him a fright. <coughs> now, maybe, put up a bottle of whiskey there for my new friends. I'm talking to you. And I hear you both. What do you think, Mary? This man has done no harm. Not yet. Not yet. What do you win? It isn't right to be him, Adam. He's here alone, Bull. He doesn't belong here. The guards are here of us. Of course they're here about it. Well, that's been the last of them about it. If we all keep our mouth shut. It'll lead to not only trouble. It'll be a right man of trouble if you don't keep your mouth shut. We know enough about you because you were right there for it. Your husband there might be blind, 
But that boy may care no your comments and boys like the back of his hand. And you, boy, you don't want to see your mother getting hurt now, do you? Then he won't say a word. Of course he won't. Many a man around here are kicking up and about putting a bomb up against a public house door. It was done before, the time of the land grabbing. And who's to say it wouldn't be done again? All right, all right, we get the message. Well, that's lovely now. That's great now to know that all my friends are behind me. Now, all of you will remember that when I take and I leave here, none of you will leave here until we come back. And when we do, it will be the very same as if we never left. Right, Dandy? So good. Good help to you, Mammy. Good luck, bud. And now, there's nothing I like better than a recitation from the bowl handy here. Give us the poor blind boy, Dandy. <coughs> Left the old field where he played as a baby, the little white cottage that lies by the sea. The cradle that rocked him is lonesome and shame, as she thinks of the days that never will be. There's Emperor by there's Emperor. Listen, you can hear the horse cross the grass. What music that was ever heard? Another day like that now, and one other fist. You didn't come. Hard to say. Hard to say. You sure he saw no sign of Marley? Positive. You sure now we didn't get down to the river and on yet? Certainly, he didn't send her until we went to the Hubbard's Mark. John Sweeney was here with him tomorrow. So I see him as clothes. Nothing but clothes. What did he ever do? Hurst would be in all day. The warden ate in grass. The warden dig his nails. Who's person? They didn't know what no one's about. Do you think you like us? I want to say, it's hard to say. I really you know, Crawl. The first one in the morning is the dog. The soul's not in this quiet night. I've seen it too often last the day. Well, you're not proud of your soul's hours. The sea, the sea, the man fails. The rats that they go over the world. Oh, they're not going to bring up. If I could watch crows all day, it was time to give them to I'd often laugh at crows. I did talk about them. I swear they have a linger all their own. Oh, most of all. Anyway, I did more than that. I did some crows, I mean, mine were calm. Did you think he'd come? He's all ours, isn't he? Oh, we'll give him another half hour. And if he don't, we'll go to our heads. I'm a man. Well, I could do what I could take sleep now, and I did. I'm a man, he wanted. Oh, let her wonder. You're not complaining about the hour? Dad. What? Why don't you just have a bad talk? I don't get a talk. Ah, Dad, tell us. Why are you always talking about women? Why are you women? Your mother is a peculiar woman. She led me a queer life all these years. How long has it been? Well, that's what. Did you spoke to her? I ate your sandwiches, you have to be like. I tell us that. Eighteen years since I spoke to her, isn't that What was the cause? What was the cause? What was that cause with a tinker's pony? A hang gallows duckless piebald. A rotty get of a duckless necker's pony. I was at the field he carried pony. At the fair he carried pony when, when, when she, she gave the, the tinker with the permission. To put the pony into a field. And the land carrying 14 cows and rat scares. 14 cows, imagine. Nice tree. And they both put a, a pony in on top of it. I think there's pony in it. They tear off it. Would that? Would would it, did they explain to her? Oh. I, I didn't. I'm sure she wouldn't listen. <laughs> Oh, I was at the fair in Carrie Cormand and I had a bit of a horse taken. I was in the bed when she told me. 
I used one of them more to make sure that maybe I went out and I looked at that little piece of that pony. He had one eye. I sight full right eye. I was shocking through the two eyes. That go down that bad. And barrel at a time. And often played on my mind. But if it was an ass now it wouldn't matter. But Christ like a pony is a pony. I never spoke to her since. Never a word. I tried to come around here a couple of times. Only <coughs> the electricity. And I, I I bought that television. And I built that goddamn bathroom for her. Yeah. I bought over a Tinker's Pony. A dusty one-eyed Tinker's Pony. <laughs> I used to be, yeah, Tinky was human. You had to do that. You had to do it. Of course I had to do it. But she wouldn't see it that way. But you know, you were another off no time. You were a sensible fella. I think those boys would eat your fingernails. <laughs> did you explain to Oh, I did. Sure, it doesn't worry women if they think that their fields are bad and, and, and their hair scares. I see lonesome nights, Kay. I see so very lonesome nights. What's that? What's that? That's only a kid. What are the new ones? What are your feet going on the sounds? An airplane is it? That's all it is. We often hear them down here at night. I've attended different times. What do you be doing down here at night? Uh, <coughs> running around. Watch out for donkeys. And women, I suppose. Ah, uh, that. Come on. Tell your own dad. Is it anybody I know? There's a daughter, Patsy Kennedy's. I've seen her. I've seen her. She's a bit red in the leg. But a great, but a great wedge of a woman. <laughs> Can she admit? She knows more about her than myself. Thank God if she does, she knows an awful lot. She's a man by day, but she's a woman at night. <laughs> <laughs> and an only daughter into the barn. So there's nine acres of land. Nine acres? I know there's nine. And a good nine. Oh, man, you're so tight. Oh, you reared you well, mate. <laughs> Tell me this. Did you question her? Yeah. I did. I say she will enough. Go who like the, the, the washer? She's a bit pervert and headstrong. Oh, we got that out of her. I drop the hip down there, and she doesn't seem all willing to listen. Nine acres of land. Just imagine. Nine acres of land. You keep your number screwed on tight, and we'll be a part of keeping you. Why do you get the rest now? What's that? What's that? What? There's a sign of the new ones coming home from the picture in Kyle Bowman. Carry yourself down, Dad. You're very jittery. Oh, this is good. It is at home, he's home. No. If he doesn't come in ten minutes, we can get it through. All we get over uh, here is no more, yeah. Listen. There's somebody coming out. Stop, don't be in. Play cool now. Play cool. <coughs> Pull. Pull. Ty. He is there. It's me, Pull. Pull. Ah, lads, if you can hear me now, don't be hot me. I'm about to run the hallway from Carrie Dorman with a bad hat. <laughs> <laughs> you nearly put me off in the weakness. My heart is fluttering like the engine of a motorbike. <laughs> but that's terrible thing, isn't it? Bird, if I thought you were a drinking man, I'd run the hallway to Carrie Dorman for a, a glass of brandy for you. Ah, it's be funny then, Bud, and I keep quiet about what I know. Come here to me. Tell me what you know. Spit it out or it'll be spat out for ya! He was in Flanagan's for a drink. I was at the counter talking to Mamie. He, he said he was going to his lodges to get his coat and have a look at the fee. So you won't need me warning. Ah, this is the fee he fancies all right for. It, it, it's like falling for a woman. They club at first sight. Did you see him? He was on the road behind me, that's why I ran. So don't forget who tipped you off, but... I'm sure I won't, I'm sure I won't. Listen, listen, it's, it's bound to be him. Who else will be? Step back. Murder him! 
you would go home. Who the hell do you think you are? I have as much right to be here as you. For the last time, turn around and go home now. I'm legally entitled to look at this field. I want to worst on the moment. Then you will quit carrying home and force tea in tomorrow morning. And never set foot here again. You're son of a mother. Don't you threaten me. <coughs> you do what you were told, young fella. Or your wife won't know you the next time she sees you. And I'm not fooling your wife. For God's sake, get out of my way. Hey, that's dangerous. Come on. Pass me if you can. I want your son of a mother. We can quit carrying home. Come on, have a bit of sense. Come on, if you feel like it. You won't go with me into assaulting you. A good night's sleep and you might see things a little... What happened here tonight? All three of us were in the pub. Right? All under one word. Now come on. Get home across the fields. I don't like the look of the Come on, get home across the fields. You've gone too far. Get home across the fields this minute. Come on. Get out. <laughs> Oh, Jesus Christ! Oh, my God. That's only one of us again. <laughs> 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 